Hello viewers, this is JBL Flip 2 which is completely dead, it's not at all turning on and even if I put in charge, it's not working. There is no symbol here, light should come, the indicator should glow, it is not even charging, even the pin is good. Here I am coming closer, it looks good. Alright, let's see, let's tear this down and see what is the issue. Just follow the steps, how I am tearing this down. Four screws here. Now the other side. While removing this, here NFC board is there, very thin board. Remove very carefully, just follow how I remove this flap. You can see here it is the board is here. You have to remove that carefully. Otherwise, this NFC board will break. Just removing this. Alright, now this side three screws here to remove the control board like this and you can remove this by removing this flex cable you can take out this control board now just remove this flap slightly here one screw is there need to remove that and this side you can see this is soldered in very thin wire so carefully you can remove like this just follow these steps i am keeping this board closer to the speaker so that the wire will not stretch like this and remove this rubber and here one more screw is there you have to remove that now slowly pushing this metal grill uh, sorry silver grill here like this it will come out there is one indicator also here battery indicator hold this and remove like this all right now you can remove this nfc board now this has been now this is this has come out keeping this separately now there is two screws to remove this metal grill one is here the other one is hidden behind this indicator you can see one more screw here now you can take out the metal grill like this slowly sliding this out it will come out like this now there is bit dust here i'm going to clean that all right now there are three screws here which we have to remove that to split apart the speaker in two halves Alright, now I am just splitting here, it will come like this, and this is the internal look, let me remove that screw here, which I opened, alright, now there are two screws here, I am going to remove that, and let me turn like this, one and this is the second one. So that charging port is hidden behind. Let me see. This is the charging connection which comes from the charging board to this point. Now I am going to remove this NFC. 
this is mic not requ not required to remove this is the main flux cable just taking out and this is the battery indicators flux cable taken that out as well now just by pulling like this the back side the access to the back side comes now we can remove this auxiliary cable this is auxiliary cable and this is bluetooth antenna cable and this is the battery cable and this is the charging cable which is fixed here using the hot glue now i am going to connect the charger and test the voltage here in the pin if the voltage doesn't come that means there is a problem in the socket otherwise the voltage will go in then the issue will be in the board we have to check that now connecting the charger to check the voltage in the multimeter now i have connected this one all right now let's see the voltage in this let's see i think there is no voltage here itself then the problem is in the board but the connector is very good what is the problem not sure let's remove and check all right now the now to access this uh, charging board we have to remove this glue it is very easy way to remove i will tell here first let me remove this screw here okay the board the socket itself has come out okay this is broken you can see it is fixed in the cable itself it might be dry dry soldered okay. i'm just removing the pin here the pin is good but the solder is removed so i am not going to put the same pin let me put the new pin because here you can see the pin is broken here all right i have a extra pin here with me so let me connect that i have the same pin which is of flip jbl flip to uh, usb pin let me take one out so this is the ditto same pin like original you can see this side is you can see this is the top view it is 100% similar pin you can see the difference here it is bend is there this is clean so i am going to fix this pin hopefully the voltage will come and speaker will start working again all right now let let us take this board to fix this pin to take out this pin we have to give some heat over here using the hair dryer or any heat blower i am going to apply the heat here all right now the bonding will be weak here after applying the heat you can see it is coming out like this it will come out without heat this will not come as clean as this one all right now slightly i am pushing the board to the forward that side so it will come out like this can see now i have the access to this board so all right now let us clean this motherboard by taking out the excess lead i will take out the excess lead and solder the pin in front of you itself all right i have cleaned this pin now time to fix this usb You can see this is placed perfectly now i'm going to apply the paste and solder here Hold this. 
¿no? ¿Está bien? So, it has hold its position now. It's time to solder these connectors. All right. Now this will work. You can see it is soldered here clearly. Now voltage will come. Before putting it back to the speaker, let me check the voltage here. Now connecting the micro USB and testing the voltage here. You can see 5.2 volt is coming. That means USB micro USB is perfect. Now it's time to fix the speaker and put for the charging. So that let's see. the speaker gets charged again and back to life now putting the screw back here all right now taking this now applying the heat again here to paste here without any air leak otherwise without if you don't put this paste back air leak will be there which sounds like distortion see now it will hold just by pressing it with wet hand that will not harm your finger as well and it will not the and the paste will not touch to your finger as well that's it you can see I'm waiting for 2 3 minutes so that it will hold strongly all right now it's time to assemble it back and check putting the bt antenna here battery aux cable now positioning here putting back the screws as well two screws are there for motherboard done putting the main flex cable here now the battery indicator flex cable all right everything is fixed make sure this paste should be here completely covered so that air leak will not be there again i am connecting this this nfc board as well and there is a gap here I'm just pushing it for pressing it and making sure that this gum is fully gap now just putting back the cover before screwing this let me check whether it is charging or not after connecting the led light here it should glow you can see light is coming you can see here all right that means it is charging let me put the screws back done now let me put the cover as well since seems it is charging perfectly 
let me put the mesh back the metal grill all right now there are two screws for this grill done now time to put this let's see now putting this screws here all right now putting back these four screws put these three screws to this control board now placing this total control board here let me put the screws back all right that's it then now i'm putting for the charging you can see light is glowing show it again coming closer as well now connecting the charger you can see it's charging all right let me wait for 2 3 minutes let this get charged and i will show the demo as well now it is connected to charger i'm turning on pressing the bluetooth bluetooth button to pair speaker is connected song is playing speaker is working perfectly thanks for watching the video if you like the video please do like share subscribe to audio wiz 360 and hit that notification bell icon and please subscribe as it will motivate me to make more of like these videos thanks for watching again bye